Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ofelia Orate, principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is number series and number patterns. You will encounter this in any entrance exam. Okay, problem number one. We have here 10, 22, 34, this is positive 34, blank, and 58. Now, how do you get the, the number? You have to take a look at the differences. Like 10 and 22, the difference is positive 12. 10 plus 12 will give you 22. 22 and 34 also gives you a 12. So, if this is going to be a 12, this will also be a 12. So you see a pattern. Now, 10 plus 12 is 22. 22 plus 12 gives you 34. 34 plus 12 is... 4 plus 2 is 6. And 3 plus 1 is 4. If we add 46 and 12, are we going to get a 58? 6 plus 2 is 8. 4 plus 1 is 15. So the answer is correct. Now, let's move on to problem number 2. As you can see, in number 2, the numbers are alternating in sign. This is positive 6, then you have negative 12, then positive again, then negative 48, then blank. If this is the case, you have to multiply a negative number. Let's see what was multiplied to 6. Now, what do you multiply to 6? To get negative 2 or what is the difference so you multiply this by negative 2 6 times negative 2 will give you a negative 12 negative 12 times negative 2 will give you a positive 24 positive 24 times negative 2 gives you a negative 48 and negative 48 times negative 2 gives you a 8 times 2, 16. Carry 1, 4 times 2, 8 plus 1 is 9. And this should be positive. So, again, what is the technique? If you have plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, it would mean that you are to multiply a negative number because Positive times negative is negative, and negative times negative is positive. Next, problem number three. 41, 43, 47, blank, 71. Now, we take a look at the differences, and let's see the process. We can do it by trial and error. 41 and 43, they have a difference of 2. 41 plus 2 it gives you 43. 43 and 47 gives you a difference of 4. Or 43 plus 4 is 47. Or 47 minus 43 is 4. What do you think is this? Let's check if this is 6. If this is 6, then this must be 8. Let's try first if that works. 47 plus 6 gives us a 53. Is 53 plus 8 71? No. 53 plus 8 is 61. So this is wrong. In that case, then you have to think. Let me erase this. You have to think and try to see what else is a possible number here after 4 if it is not 6? Hmm, have you thought of that? Now, let's try 8. How did I get 8? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. There. Now, if this is 8, 47 plus 8 gives you a 55. And is 55 plus 16 71? 55 plus 16 
11 carry 1, that is 71. So the answer is 55. Now, as you can see in problem number 4, the unknown number is at the beginning. Yes, there. So if that is the case, you start from the end. You get the differences from the end. Although you can also start here, but it will be better here. So, 189 minus 93, 9 minus 3 gives us 6, and 18 minus 9 gives us 9. There's a difference of 96 here. Now, 93 minus 45. There, 3 minus 5 cannot be, bar 1. 13 minus 5 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. So the, there is a difference of 48. Do you now see this, the pattern here? Let's continue. 45 minus 21, 5 minus 4. Uh, 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. There, do you now see the difference? 24, 48, and 96. What do you think is the number here? 12. So let's check. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. And 48 times 2 is 96. So what is the number here? So we will have here 21 minus 12. Mm -hmm. 1 minus 2 cannot be borrow 1 from here. That's 1. 11 minus 2 is 9. Is the answer 9? Let's check. 9 plus 12 is 21. 21 plus 24 is 45. 45 plus 48 is 93, and 93 plus 96 is 189. As you can see, you have a pattern here in the differences. Let's move on to the problem number 5. If you take a look at the differences here, you have 4 minus 1 is 3, or 1 plus 3 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5, or 4 plus 5 gives us 9. 16 minus 9 is 7, or 9 plus 7 is 16. So what do you think is the next number if you have 3, 5, 7? So the next number is 9. How do you do that? These are just odd numbers, or you just add 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. And 7 plus 2 is 9. So 16 plus 9 is 25. There. What else do you see in this series of numbers? Do you also see that 1 is the square of 1? And 4 is the square of 2? 9 is the square root 3, 16 is the square root 4, therefore 5 is the square root 5. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. That gives you 25. In the next problem, if you see that these are squares, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, and 5 square is 25, what about the series of numbers here? What do you see? I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Did you see that they are the cube of the consecutive whole numbers? One is one cube. Eight is two cube, meaning two times two, four times two, eight. 27 is 3 cubed. 3 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27. So what is this? 4 cubed. Is this, is this 5 cubed? 5 times 5, 25 times 5 is 125. So therefore we have here 4 times 4, 16 times 4 is 64. So the answer is 64. I will be leaving number 7 and 8 for you to answer. As an exercise, I already provided the answer here. Take note that in number 7, the numbers are decreasing. So if they are decreasing, that would mean uh, 
One hint is for you to subtract a given number. And then in number eight, I also provided an exercise for you, but this time I made this decimal. So you try to see the pattern. Remember, before we end, you always have to add kindness, subtract, judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Thank you. I hope I was of help.